Hello everybody, thank you so much for being here. So I am so excited to be filming this video. I am going to be showing you everything that I picked up on our recent Walt Disney World vacation. We had such a wonderful time. It was so amazing to get away with my family. It was a big family trip. It was me, my husband, my daughter, and my husband's immediate family, and it was so much fun. So great to be in Disney World again. If you don't already, I would recommend you following me on my Disney Instagram. I have basically all of our trips in my highlights on my Instagram if you want to go check that out. We're going to be going back to Disney World in October. So excited to get back there. But today I thought I would show you the things that we picked up while we were there. What's kind of funny is that we were there for seven days and the first three days that we were there, I didn't really see much that was catching my eye. I was even saying to my husband that I don't know what it is about the Disney merch this year, but I didn't see anything that was really exciting me. However, the last like three or four days, I was seeing so many things that I wanted. So I have one, two, three bags of souvenirs and merch to share with you so I'll go ahead and get into that now but before I really get into it if you are new my name is Tiffany I am a mother I'm a wife and here on my YouTube channel I just do a collection of different things that I enjoy I love Disney I love motherhood and packing videos so I want to invite you to look around and if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and then of course all of my social media is left down below. So with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the video. So my daughter got quite a few plushes. She loves plushes. She loves stuffed animals. This first one is actually a plush that my husband won for her in Dino Land. They're playing like the carnival games that are right outside of the sort of dinosaur flying ride. And it's actually a really good quality plush. It says, the Dino Institute. When we were in Epcot, we were looking around the Japan store and my daughter picked up this really cute pink Yoshi. My daughter loves Super Mario and she doesn't have a Yoshi, so she saw this one and got it. She also picked out this Dante Alahibre. Super cute. She carried it around with her everywhere. She even flew with it on the airplane. She also picked out this Sebastian plush when we were in Epcot. We were in the gift shop that you go through when you exit the Nemo and Friends ride. And this plush is actually really pretty because it has sparkles all throughout it. And the tag, I did take it off, but it said it was for the Little Mermaid 30th anniversary. Super cute, it's actually pretty heavy too. My daughter also picked out one of these baby swaddle plushes. She has quite a few of these that she's collected over the years from the Disney parks. And it's a little baby Aurora. She actually thought it was Alice from Alice in Wonderland at first and it does kind of look like her, but um, super cute. So she grabbed that one. And then the final plush she has here is a Kevin. My brother-in-law actually grabbed this for her when we were at Animal Kingdom. You could actually bend her neck and I think her feet, her feet bend too. Really, really cute. So those are all of her plushes. She also picked out this little backpack keychain from our hotel gift shop. We stayed at the Saratoga Springs Resort. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how much this was, but it's really sparkly and cute. She'll probably attach this to her backpack. And then her biggest souvenir that she got, this was actually picked out by my husband, but he grabbed her a pair of Ray-Bans and a little Ray-Ban cleaning kit. My husband has wanted to buy my daughter her first pair of Ray-Bans forever since I can remember. My husband collects Ray-Bans himself, especially Disney Ray-Bans. So he really wanted to get her her own pair. So we went into the Sunglass Hut in Adventureland, which is my husband's favorite Sunglass Hut on Disney property. This is what they look like. So they have different versions of Mickey Mouse on both sides. Very, very cute. They look adorable on her. We also picked out this little um, sunglass like lanyard that she can wear so they don't fall when she takes them off. We picked her up this little like sunglass cleaning case. My husband and I both have our own but this one has mini on one side and then the Fab Five and then you get the um, lens cleaner spray which is very nice. So that was her big souvenir. Um, that's something that 
her daddy wanted to get for her. Okay, so let's go into this bag first. On one of her last nights, we had dinner at Boathouse in Disney Springs. And we stopped by the M&M store because my daughter kept seeing a lot of people with the M&M store bag, so she really wanted to go there. She wanted this like M&M dispenser. This was $19.95. And normally I wouldn't let her get something like this, but my daughter loves M&M's and so does my husband. So I figured that this would definitely get some use. <laughs> um, oh, there's actually some in here. So you just put the M&M's, press the button, and they kind of spiral down. And then the last thing in this bag is our popcorn buckets. We get one of these popcorn buckets every year. So this year we got the Star Wars popcorn bucket. We actually picked this up from Magic Kingdom. Speaking of popcorn bucket, we were at Animal Kingdom, which is I think my favorite park um, on Disney property. And I saw this popcorn bucket and just thought it was adorable and really wanted it. It's the Simba popcorn bucket. It opens in the back and it says Animal Kingdom. I think this was $20 and they obviously fill it up with popcorn when you get it. But I thought this was adorable. I am starting a little side collection of like the novelty popcorn buckets and the novelty sippy cups if I see one that I really really like and on this particular trip I didn't see many popcorn buckets that I had to have but this one caught my attention and I just I thought it was adorable so pick that up from Animal Kingdom. The very first souvenir that I picked up when we got to Disney I believe I picked this up the night we got there were these ears. I went into our trip knowing I wanted these. I saw these on Shop Disney's website and just love them. They are the black and white velvet ears. So the ears are black velvet and the bow is like a white satin but it has velvet black polka dots. I just loved how classic these were. I wore these so much on our trip. I believe almost every single day they went with so many outfits and they were super comfortable to wear. Typically when it comes to ears, whether it's Disney Park ears or ones that I buy from small shops, I find that it's really hard to find a super comfortable pair that I can wear all day without getting headaches and without taking them off at some point throughout the day. By the end of the day, my first time wearing these, I was like, wow, I've worn these all day and I haven't even noticed I was wearing them. Super comfortable. I don't know if it's these particular ears or if Disney has maybe made their ears a little bit more comfortable since I've last purchased a pair, but I love these. So I picked those up on our very first day. I had to have them. I went into our trip knowing I wanted them. I picked up a couple of clothing pieces. These were both purchased from Animal Kingdom. This first is a t-shirt and I picked this up from a outdoor gift shop that was located right next to the Yak and Yeti restaurant which we actually had lunch at for the first time and it was delicious. We all loved it. I definitely want to go back there on our next trip because our service was amazing and everything we ordered was delicious. I saw this shirt actually a few years ago and took a picture of it because I really liked it but didn't buy it and always regretted it since and I was so surprised to see that they still were selling it. So. It says, if you have to choose between being right and being kind, choose being kind and you will always be right. And then up here it says Yak and Yeti Orlando. Just thought that was really cute. Something I could wear here at home day to day. And then from the Island Mercantile gift shop, right when you approach the Tree of Life, I saw this long sleeve tee, which I thought was really cute. And the front it says Animal Kingdom. And I just loved the colors surrounding the Animal Kingdom logo. Just reminds me of a sunset, but that was really pretty. And then on the back it says, Wild About Adventure, Disney's Animal Kingdom. It has the Tree of Life in sort of like a nighttime scene with all the colors. I just thought this was so pretty. So this was $34.99 and this was $26. Also in this bag, I have a bunch of little bags. In the same gift shop that I purchased this t-shirt, my daughter picked out this zodiac sign little bracelet. I don't know if she wanted it. My daughter's a Leo. And then she also grabbed this bracelet, which has peach little plastic beads on it, and it says namaste. And she ended up giving it to me. Um, we were eating lunch. She's like, here, mama, you can have this, which is great because I love these little beaded bracelets. I wear them pretty much every day, so... That was really, really cute. So she gave that to me. 
also in this bag are some of these gold coins. My daughter and my husband grabbed these from a machine from Epcot. It says Epcot on the one side and it has Minnie, Mickey, Chippendale, and Pluto. And they're all in sort of like winter Christmas wear. In this bag are all of our pins. So the first ones that my daughter actually picked out, these are the Disney Hug mystery pins. My daughter loves these little mystery boxes. And I thought this set was really cute. So you can get various different characters that are hugging. So we actually got a really good box. The first one was Mickey and Pluto. And then this one, my husband really wanted this one, is Christopher Robin and Pooh Bear. We also got this button from Animal Kingdom. My brother-in-law grabbed this for my daughter and it's from the Disney Conservation Fund. So when you're making a purchase at Animal Kingdom, if you round your total up to an even number, they will give you one of these buttons. It's like a token of thanks. And then the pins. So I'm starting a side collection of pins of Disney resorts that we visit or that we stay at and also various different Disney parks and rides that we like. I have a few that I have waiting for a board but I wanted to start collecting some of the resort and ride pins while we were there because sometimes they're a little bit harder to find. For example, we stayed at the Saratoga Springs Resort and, and I couldn't find a Saratoga Springs Resort pin anywhere <laughs> and I looked everywhere in all of the parks and all of the gift shops disney springs couldn't find it anywhere so i might have to keep looking for that um so when i see them while i'm at the parks i'd like to pick them up because you never know when you're not going to be able to find them so the first pin that i grabbed was the contemporary resort pin and then on one of our days we were at animal kingdom and decided to drive over to the boardwalk inn to explore the boardwalk and grab some ice cream. We've never been there before, but we really wanted to check it out. So while we were there, I picked up the boardwalk pin. Also on one of our days, we were at Epcot and we decided that instead of going through Epcot to exit, we would go through the International Gateway and walk over to the Beach Club Resort. We're actually staying at the Beach Club Resort for the first time in October and we thought that would be a really fun thing to do to go and explore and walk around and check out the gift shop. So while we were there, I picked up the pin and I think they had a couple of different Beach Club pins to choose from, but I love all of the Beach Club merch that has Ariel and Flounder on it. So I grabbed this pin while I while I was there because like I said, you never know when they're going to be unavailable. At Disney Springs one day, I grabbed the Port Orleans Riverside pin. We have stayed at Port Orleans Riverside. I love Tiana, so love this pin. And then one of our nights, we had dinner at Topolino's Terrace, which is located at the Riviera Resort. It was our first time at the Riviera Resort and it was beautiful. I literally walked into that resort and was like, oh my god, I love everything about this resort. It was beautiful. It smelled good. I loved the decor, the vibe. It was just a gorgeous resort. And Topolino's Terrace was delicious. We had dinner there. I know they do like a character breakfast in the morning. So it kind of has like a California grill feel. It's very like upscale and fancy. Um, but while we were there, I checked out their gift shop and I picked up their pin. I love the Riviera Resorts like artwork. I think it's so beautiful and romantic and vintage i just i love the vibe so i grabbed that pin now the final pin i have is a soren pin we actually rode soren for the very first time all three of us we all three loved it we ended up riding it twice because we loved it so much so i wanted to grab the soren pin to kind of remember that my daughter's gonna be five years old and so she's just old enough to ride like all of the bigger thrill rides that she was before too little to ride so we did a lot of firsts so she rode splash mountain for the first time big thunder mountain for the first time soren obviously for the first time and i think i think that might have been it for this trip but i definitely wanted to grab soren because that was our first our all three of our first times riding that ride and we loved it so those are all of the pins in the final little bag here i just have some jewelry pieces this is a little birthstone necklace that my daughter picked out one of the other jewelry pieces was a ring and i actually picked this up from animal kingdom from 
the, I think it was the Island Mercantile store. Just like a little adjustable mini bow ring, super simple. And I like that you can adjust it so if I want to wear it on my thumb, I can sort of switch it around. Very simple and cute. I wore this, I think, every day. And then I also grabbed an Alex and Ani bracelet. I do sort of collect these, not really. I have a very small collection. So I ended up picking up the Happily Ever After wedding bracelet. If you don't know, my husband and I eloped last year. We're actually approaching our first year anniversary. We had a big wedding planned for 2020, but we had to cancel it due to COVID and reschedule it for this upcoming September. So in the meantime, we did still want to get married because we didn't want to wait any longer. So I kind of got this to commemorate this time in our lives. And then to go along with that, I picked up a Disney Pandora charm. I usually like to pick up a couple of these when we go to Disney World because I exclusively collect Disney charms. However, I didn't see that many that like I had to have, but this one I thought was really beautiful. And it might be a little bit hard to see, so I will insert either a close-up or a picture. It's the wedding charm. So it has Mickey and Minnie. Mickey's holding Minnie. There's like a little diamond ring dangling underneath and then on the back it says I will always love you I thought that was really pretty so I grabbed that from the Pandora store on Main Street at Magic Kingdom and then the final bag I have here I have a bunch of random stuff in here I have another one of those buttons I guess we also picked up this fanny pack for my daughter I brought a fanny pack for the first time into the parks. It's like my main bag. I also carry a backpack, but I like to keep in my fanny pack my phone, my wallet, like hand sanitizer, things that I need to grab very quickly and easily. And my daughter was a little bit jealous that she didn't have a fanny pack. So we went shopping around and she chose this one. And we got this from Animal Kingdom, but I think you can get this pretty much anywhere. It is a little big for her. I mean, she's only four years old, but we wrapped the strap around her waist twice and it fit her nicely. And it's a very nice material. It kind of feels like a neoprene almost, or like a scuba material. And it says Minnie Mouse on the back. I thought that was adorable. So pick that up for my little one. Like I mentioned, I loved the merch at the Riviera Resort. I love the artwork and I just love the vibe. So I was looking around all of their merch and I saw this towel and just loved it. I usually pick up a beach towel every time we go, but I wasn't seeing any beach towels that I had to have or that I don't already have, but this one I thought was gorgeous. So it says the Riviera Resort Disney Vacation Club and it has Skyliner in the back and Mickey and Minnie. It's, it's a huge towel. It's so hard to show, but oh, I just love the artwork and the colors. So beautiful. I definitely want to stay at this resort. If I'm ever lucky enough to do so, it would be just a dream because that resort is beautiful. This was $29.99, but it's a huge towel. So I got that. And then I think the final thing is in this bag. While we were at the beach club, I was looking around at all of their merch, and again, I love their merch too, and I picked up one of their turbises, which I thought was really pretty. It says, Seaside is where I belong, at Disney's Beach Club Resort, and my husband and I drink out of turbises daily. <laughs> so I already love this brand and these cups. This was $26.99, which is very much in line of how much services will run you normally. But I just love the artwork on here. It's like it's so pretty. Really fun summer cup. And again, I just feel like when it comes to merch, um, it's hard to know if something's gonna stick around or if it's gonna go away or sell out. I know we're going to the beach club in October, but I figured get it now <laughs> so that it doesn't, it doesn't sell out or go anywhere. So that is everything. That's everything that we picked up from Walt Disney World. Not too, too much stuff. We tried to limit, obviously, for flying purposes and packing, but also because we know we're going to be going back in October. Let me know what your favorite item was that I shared in today's video. Thank you guys so much again for watching this. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hope you guys are all doing well, and I will talk to all of you later. Bye.